Hey everybody, this is Eagle here from Catic Family, and this is your backflip tutorial. Now, before uh, uh, attempting the backflip, I suggest that you learn how to do a back handspring first. If you don't know how to do a back handspring, you can watch the tutorial by clicking the box above. Now, to, uh, to do a back backflip is, is similar to a back handspring. The only difference is you're not going to be landing on your hands, you're going to be tucking. <laughs> and you're going to be landing on your feet too. Um, so let's pretty much start it. It's really simple. Oh, also, I suggest, now not everybody has to, but I suggest doing it into like a pool or something, but if you really want to land it, try doing it off of something like a higher surface, because that's how I learned, that's how a bunch of people I know learned, because it, it's always easier. You have more height and it's more time to get uh, finish your rotation. Okay, right here are the steps. When you come up, when you're on the object, you want to make sure that your, the balls of your feet are the only thing on the on the object. Ta uh, for this, I'm just going to use table since this is what I'm using. Now, the balls of my feet are going to be on the table, but you want to keep your heels off because, well, most of your pressure, most of your pressure and uh, height is going to come from the balls of your feet when you push off. Uh, second, you want to make sure that your feet are evenly apart, just like in the back handspring. Third, you're going to bend your knees just like the back handspring as well. The only difference now is that when it comes to throwing your arms up for the momentum, you're gonna you're gonna tuck. By tucking in is uh, when you jump up, you're gonna bring your knees in and you're gonna tuck it into a ball as hard as you can. Don't let go until you can see where you're landing. Because with backflips, you most of the time you can pretty much see your back where you're landing all the time. Uh, but I'll let you work on the timing because everybody's backflip speeds are different. Now, other than that, it's just it's just like the back handspring, except for you're tucking. You're not landing on your hands, you're landing on your feet. So I'll show you one example now. Notice how my heels are hanging off the back of the back of the table, but my the balls of my feet are still on. Now, a helpful tip that my that our my buddy Jamon taught me is that. If you want more control and more speed when it comes to your tuck, uh, instead of tucking with your legs together, spread them apart and tuck really hard because not only do you get a lot more control of your flips, but the spin is faster so you're not taking forever to land. I'll show you one with, uh, with the tucked. With it spread apart tucked. Much, see, much faster. Now, when it comes to doing a backflip off the ground, it's the same concept when it comes to doing it off an object. The only difference is you you're going to be pushing off a lot harder on the ground, so make sure that you get that height needed to complete the rotation. Uh, other than that, same thing goes for everything. I'll do a couple. Of Legs together, and then I'll show you one with them apart, so you can see the difference. Here it is with them apart. This is Eagle here from CAG Family, and that concludes our backflip tutorial. If you found this tutorial to be helpful, please like our video and share it with friends, family, etc. If you'd like to see more tutorials or even more like free running videos, martial art and tricking videos coming soon, uh, please click the subscribe button above. Thank you for watching, and always practice safely. Thank you.